Happy Monk Day, everybody. Happy Monk Day, happy Monk Day. 16 years ago today, I didn't just leave home in Martin and Pater, which I'd done before then. I left my whole cultural operating system context. Mm -hmm. And I got on an airplane and I moved over the oceans thousands of miles away into a new place, a new geolocation that didn't just have its own cultural operating system running there, but was indeed an amalgamation of lots of different cultural operating systems from across the globe that had all been brought there by people like myself, who thought, if I go on this hero's journey, I shall discover myself. And I surely have, again and again and again. Since then, I've traveled around the globe at least a couple of times, seen different cultural operating systems, met different people, encountered different ideas, had emotions I never thought I could have. Wow, what a trip. And who I was 16 years ago, who I was 12 years ago, 10 years ago, 5 years ago, even last week, seems completely strange to me. If I think about that person, it's like meeting a stranger that seems eerily familiar. And today, I look at myself and I have no connection to that person that I once was. That said, I have gotten closer and closer to who I've always been. All these encounters with new cultures, new ideas, new sensations have reminded me of that core. Similar to when Michelangelo talks about how the sculpture is hidden in the marble block all along and he is merely chipping away to liberate it. All of these experiences, encounters, and changing sensation, changing emotion, changing ideas have ultimately brought me closer to who I've always been. Take this for example. A couple of years ago, I went back to my parents' house and my mom asked me to take care of some boxes that I had left there. And one of the things I found was this a poetry book I started writing when I was seven years old. And one of the first poems I ever wrote was all about the meaning of life. It was about living a life without war, or hatred, worries, and a life lived in love. And I was seven. Now here, 30 years later or something like that, I'm sitting here and I'm more about these things than ever before. With all these different changes, all these different new encounters, new sensations for my body, new emotions, new thoughts, ultimately they've brought me closer to who I was before I even came here. And here I mean this mortal coil. Because this mortal coil is constantly changing. Everything is changing. My body is not the same it was 16 years ago. My emotions surely aren't the same. And there's been plenty more thoughts that have been going on and processing in this little neuroprocessing machine of mine. Mm -hmm. But I am more of who I've always been today. And sometimes we need to break away that which we think we are to find out who we really are. So this week, break away from your existing system. You don't have to leave the country. You don't have to move all over the place, but step out of the system that you think you are and look at it from there. And you'll find that you'll learn things all new again. And you'll find yourself within it anew and find who you really are and what you came here to be. So think about that this week. Happy Monday!